mo most most rappers don't go on and make blockbuster movies and start sports leagues, right? So what mindset carries you um, to do sort of one new venture after another and create your own reality in the way that you have? Because I think these brothers need to hear that. Well, when I first started to, you know, do music, you know, I was, I was fortunate enough to be around people who had to make their own way, had to carve their own way. You know, doing West Coast hip hop, you know, we were really looking at, at us as we have to figure out how to break into, you know, hip hop on a major level, like the East Coast groups at the time, which were the superstar groups. And so I seen people put their money where their mouth is. I seen people take risks and do things um, that wasn't comfortable and were, you know, nerve wracking at the time. But I, I noticed if you can keep your nerve and if you can play things out, um, that if they're supposed to work out, usually they will. So seeing that, you know, with people like Lonzo Williams and seeing that, you know, who, who uh, Lonzo, he was our, you know, the, the, the head of the wrecking crew and then come with yeah, easy. Yeah, I, I, I met him in LA. He came to my event in LA. I like that brother. He's a good guy. Yeah, yeah, he's a good dude, a lot of energy. And uh, so um, easy seeing him do it going from being a, you know, a hustler to getting into the music business and kind of finding his way, you know, it kind of showed me like you, you got to put your money where your mouth is. And you got to take a chance sometime. But, you know, really when, when I met John Singleton too, to do Boys in the Hood and he looked at me and he said, when are you going to write your movie? Because don't expect Hollywood to come up and, give you scripts that's going to be good as this because it ain't a lot of scripts for black people in hollywood so that made me think okay wow i gotta take i don't know nothing about hollywood i don't know how it worked but now i'm learning that if i want to do good work i gotta take the initiative to do it myself and from doing videos and all these things just showed me you know don't be scared to take that step, you know, especially if it's something you believe in, something that you're passionate about, something that you know is going to work. The only thing that holds you back sometimes is you and, and, and the work ethic you, you want to put into it. And, and if you're just, if you're dedicated to do whatever it takes, you know, not nothing illegal, not nothing criminal, but doing whatever it takes to make it and doing whatever it takes for this to work, you got a shot. You got a shot at your business, your idea of whatever working. If you're just looking for the outcome, you're just looking for the dollars it can make and the, this it can do, then you'll probably fall short before you get to the, to the point where you're happy. So I'm saying, so, you know, I learned to be happy with the work and, and contributing and doing something that kept me, you know, alive inside, then, you know, worrying about the outcome as much. You know, you get, the, you, get the, you get the work right and then you usually get the outcome you want. You know what I mean? You worry about the outcome, you usually don't get the work right. So, um, you know, it's, it's just having that courage. You know, you don't know, you're not always going to start off with as much money as you need, but you got to start off with as much passion as you need. You got to start off with as much knowledge as you need. You got to know the game you're getting into. Uh, so with basketball, uh, we just wanted to do something we knew nobody wanted to do. You know, we wanted to, you know, just as a fan, I wanted to see this, you know, these seven footers and these you know, pros who still got it playing three on three basketball. So just as a fan, I wanted to see that, you know, uh, and, and be able to be a part of it. So putting it together, it was all about, you know, okay, now how could this really work? So now it's a project, it goes from being a fan 
to a project to it lays out the business model works oh this could actually be a business so from there you start to say okay what do i need to make this a business and then understand that most businesses you're going to lose money for the first three, four years, most of the time, not all the time. So you got to be ready for that. So these are the things you got to kind of, these are the stages, you know, it goes from passion to plan to actual business model. What would it take to work? Because it's easier to, to do it on paper than that. Just go out and do it and then spend a lot of money and then figure it out on the fly. You figure it out on paper first, what can work, what's not gonna work, why, do as much as that. And then if you feel it, go for it, go for it. I love it. Everybody, um, uh, if you could take a second and, and tell, uh, tell Cube thanks for this, this great advice. I mean, this is, this is something you guys know I'm, I'm very passionate about. Um, I'm a believer, man, that for the black man, I believe that if you wanna be a king, you have to learn how to build a castle because I don't know too many of these other men from other communities that are gonna bring you into their castle and let you be the king. Some of our men are not built to be a beta or to follow behind somebody or to go just have a job. Work. Some people get fired before they even get the job just because of how they look. Cause you, you're big and you're dark and you got a deep voice and you're intelligent and you're ambitious. That's a threat to a lot of men. So there are some places that women can go into that men just can't go into, you know, and when I know a lot of brothers who, you know, as you mentioned in your movie about getting fired on your day off, I know guys that get fired on their day off, you know, just because of who they are. And I think that it is an absolute crime against our community for us to allow those boys to grow up without the skills they need to survive. You know, because there, there's probably a million ice cubes out here, a million voice walkings is out here. You know, a lot of guys out here and a lot of them are in prison. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, some of our most brilliant extraordinary men are locked up in prison right now and, and it's not a coincidence they are many okay. of them are war criminals when you declare war in the community you don't just, you don't lock up the weak people you go after the strong ones first so um so i'm going to say thank you for the work you're doing uh to help our warriors get out of prison i think that's 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 huge that's gonna make a big difference uh also the for the preparation of future warriors and and and, and the, the ladies are warriors too right in their own way we, we're raising daughters and all that so so that's a part of the conversation too. And I just think we have to build a better black man, build a better black woman to give them the, the ability to integrate. Like you can integrate into the community, be a part of the world, but you still have a base of power. Because at the end of the day, it seems like it all comes down to power. Yeah, you know, and, and us really using our knowledge to advance ourselves um, and not just using our knowledge, you know, to go work on some job, you know what I mean, to help somebody else become rich and advance their community, but using our knowledge to help advance each other in our community. Um, and, you know, to me, when, when it's a real subject, everybody um, can fight. Everybody usually has fight in them. You know, um, you talk about a sister's money and she gonna, <laughs> she gonna you know, <laughs> come at you, you know what I mean? There ain't gonna oh, be yeah. none of all that, nothing soft, you know? <laughs> you know so, <laughs> let me get real about their money, you oh, know? Yeah. So we just take that passion and apply it to not worrying about everybody's problems. You know, I think that's where we make our mistake. You know, we, we wanna be part of America. We wanna be integrated. We feel like, oh, they're gonna lose the Supreme Court justice. Oh my God. You know, uh, all these little problems that, you know, at the end of the day, if we're not in the economic stratosphere, these are, these white people problems, they not our problems because we have to become relevant in, in capitalism for those to become our problems. Right now, we got to focus on what's troubling black people. And if we become single focused, then we will, all that stuff will fall away and you'll see really what's important and who's doing what for real. And you'll uh, attack, you know, what's not being done right. You know, that's kind of how, you know, I've come to where I've come to. And I'm not worried about the world's problems right now. 
You know, I'm just worried about what's happening with black people in, uh, right here in America that we can really get ourselves on our feet. Then we can start helping the rest of the world. You know, I love, you know, I want to, I want to help Africa. I want to help all these other places, but we need so much help here, man. You know, we need to get ourselves together. And so I'm, I'm going to work hard to try to help us do it. All right. All right. Well, you know what? Uh, I think our time is up. Uh, this brother has a very busy schedule and I respect that. And uh, please uh, thank, uh, please give uh, Mr. Ice Cube a, I, I won't say O'Shea Jackson, I'll just say Ice Cube. Please give Cube a, th a thank you for hanging out with us. Um, you know, his time is uh, short and this was a great conversation and take what he said and, uh, and, and take that with you. Take risk, put your money where your mouth is. Um, uh, let things play out and have faith. Have faith that if you do your best and you work hard, it's going to be all right. Don't be scared. Stop being punks. We're not. We're not a community of scared people. We're, we're better than that. So uh, thank you very much, brothers. Great talking to you, man. And I uh, look forward to talk, uh, having you on anytime. You're always welcome to come through. And uh, everybody, before you walk out, hit the thumbs up button, hit the share button, hit the subscribe button. Please share this video. Give me a yes in the chat if you're going to share this with other people. Other people need to see this. And also, don't forget, on October 15th, the Powernomics Masterclass starts. If you want to join us, go to PowernomicsMasterclass.com. Dr. Claude Anderson will be a part of that. Uh, that's uh, PowernomicsMasterclass.com. Take care, guys, and I'll see you later, brother. Thank you. Thanks for right. Appreciate it. Take it easy, man. God bless.